Good evening, everyone. This is your host at the moment, Phantom Jupiter, holding everyone hostage in my underground bunker in the Northwest. Today, we are discussing opinions, specifically controversial ones, also known as hot takes. Opinions just like assholes are something everyone has. And speaking of assholes, how's it going, Six Foot and Heroica? I'm pissing myself. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. It's good to hear you guys are doing well. Now, I have a question for you all. What is the hot take you get the most shit for? Uh, Nickelback's actually a pretty good band. Fuck you. I respectfully disagree. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I just said I respectfully disagree. No, no, that's the thing. You, the thing is, you're not respectfully disagreeing. You're just disagreeing to begin with. You don't even have an. You haven't. You don't even know any song from theirs aside from "This is how you remind me of what I really." You probably don't even know any of the fucking lyrics from that song. I don't even know what that song is. What's the thought of that's that song? exactly. You don't know anything from them. So <laughs> shut your whore mouth. Honestly, the only lyric I know from them is. Uh... Look at this photograph. Look at I, this I, photograph. Like, I, I, only, I only dislike them because you like them. That's it. I That's don't really all care. your fucking personality is. I first it was Life is Strange. Ironic. No, ironic. no, first it was Dokken. <laughs> ironic. I, I, I don't really have an opinion on them, so I'm, it's just me fucking with you. But Dokken, on the other hand, oh my is God. overrated. <laughs> Fuck you! You don't even know any. You don't know anything from them. You can't have, even name one song from them. Don't remember the name songs, but I've listened to several songs, and it's just not my style of music. So yeah. Well, that's probably because you're listening to their '80s stuff. Their stuff from the '90s is like they've matured. They did probably less drugs. Um, <laughs> less drugs. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Like they don't sound like, well, I don't want to say generic '80s band, but they like they definitely kind of develop their own sound. Yeah. I love from the get go, you guys started the angry couple thing, hmm. where you were just going at each other. It was beautiful. Um, but yeah, Nickelback sucks, and uh, Dokken. <laughs> Dokken's okay. Did you just say Dokin? No. Dokin, 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 Dovakin. Oh. It doesn't matter. Fuck. All right, all right. Somebody else needs to share a hot take real quick. Um, Velveeta is god tier. Okay, another opinion I do not respect. Wait, wait. I, I, wait I, say I, that. Oh. Say that. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was just wait. What did you say, Heroicus? I said Velveeta is god tier. Oh. It's, as far as box mac and cheese go, it's pretty close. I'm not talking about the box kind. I'm talking about just getting the cheese itself. Uh, the box wait. kind, like 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 I said in the, uh, the mac and cheese episode, the boxed Velveeta versus if you get the cheese and you get your own noodles and you put in milk and butter and... Velveeta you know, makes salt. its own cheese? Hmm. Yeah, it's like you just get a box and it's just a I just call it a loaf of cheese. It's just a solid block of cheese. Yeah, actually a block would probably fit better. Um so you just cut it up however you want. Versus the box kind it gives you like this um uh cheese sauce to put in. So it's like one, it's like it's practically pre melted for you and you just put it in, you know, when the noodles are ready. The other one, like, you have to actually put it in and let it melt, you know, along with the butter and milk and salt and whatever you're going to put in with it. So it just tastes better that way. When you have it from the box, it's like it doesn't really taste any different than, like, Deluxe Craft. I honestly <laughs> think it's the same cheese, honest, if, I, if I'm to be honest. I've had better tasting horse piss than Velveeta. Oh, so you've had horse piss before. Yeah, I'm from Washington. Tune in next They're week probably... for Venom Jew Bear rates horse piss. Yeah, they. I mean, <laughs> seeing as how it's Washington, it's probably in the water supply. Yeah, <laughs> do we just drink horse piss in Washington? Not regular water. As like, especially as... if, if especially if you're on well water, it's probably like it's just 
in the water, like 40% concentration. As soon as I heard you say in the water supply, I'm just getting Batman Begins flashbacks. <laughs> it's particularly the game. Yeah, sure into enough. Oh yeah, speaking of the Batman Begins game, go watch Rokas' Let's Play of it. There isn't one. It's been deleted like fucking forever. What? When? I, Why? Uh, cause well, I I was looking through it, and it turns out there was an entire fucking episode that I don't know how I missed this, but when I rendered it, like I accidentally clipped out one section. Like, you can select a part of your video and just render that, which I do sometimes, like, uh, if I want to, like, show somebody a clip. But I didn't realize it, and I didn't do it on purpose. So it actually, the whole episode got rendered as, like, this five-second clip of me just going through a, a fucking vent. And I uploaded that, somehow not realizing it was five seconds long. Titled it, made a thumbnail, everything, and then I was looking back and I'm like, this entire fucking episode is gone. And then it's like it's something that I make I make repeated jokes about. Um something that happened in that episode later on. So it was like the whole thing doesn't even make sense without that missing episode. And I don't have the original footage for it, so oh yeah. well. Maybe I'll revisit it, because I kinda wanna shift I know this is off topic, but I kind of want to shift to doing less Let's Plays of, like, oh, some big AAA game to doing Let's Plays on, like, almost strictly movie tie-in games just because they're so fucking shitty half the time. Batman Begins is an exception. That's actually a pretty damn good tie-in game. And it was also supposedly, uh, the like, one of the big inspirations being on the Arkham games. Yeah, you can see like there's there's gameplay mechanics that feel similar, but uh, the Arkham games definitely improved upon it greatly. Yeah, Anyways, anyway, back on topic. Venom, you go. Let's hear one of your hot takes. One of my um, <clears throat> the office is not that funny. I I don't have an opinion directly. I've not watched it. I, I've, 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 seen, I've, seen, I've seen plenty of memes that are funny, but that doesn't necessarily mean the show is. Wait, what, oh. what, yeah. what, what show? The Office, the U.S. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of... I mean, it's. I don't hate it. I don't think it's completely unfunny, but I, I, yeah, I do think it's overrated. Yes, yeah, that's basically my, my take on it. And things, I know saying that, I probably angered every white girl on earth it fucking okay if you have it not just you guys but anybody listening if you have a fucking like if you've dabbled any bit in dating apps you'd be surprised how many fucking profiles are like you know how many girls in particular like you know cite the office or parks and rec or whatever as their favorite fucking shows and almost to the point where it's non-negotiable like you know you have to like it or we have to watch it together parks and rec is cripplingly unfunny to me whoa i actually like parks and i mean rec well to be fair to be fair i i only watched probably like the first five episodes and i was just like oh. It yeah. was, yeah, it was just like, this, I don't find this that funny. There was a, there was some funny stuff, but I was like, most of the time I'm just like, wow, oh, this is really fucking boring. I, and it, I saw someone who watches Park, Parks and Rec, and this is like a community thing, is always skip over the first season, because it's, it's really rough. But when it gets to the second season, it finds its charm. And it actually yeah. does, good. and it's actually, I, I think it's funnier than The Office. And it was like basically like inspired by the office. So it's um like it seems, the students become the master. It seems to be a running thing sometimes which shows it's like yeah, season one kinda sucks, it gets better yeah. after that. Like it's yeah, like if you can make it through season one, you know, you've made it through the worst of it or like But yeah, I kinda the most boring like, of it. Even if it's like not important to watch, it's still like I need to watch that before I yeah. continue. Um, six foot. Let's hear one from you. Or like, Venom. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. 
I will say one thing about The Office, though, is it had a very good romance arc with uh, Jim and Pam, like some good TV written romance where, uh, but besides that, yeah, overrated show. Anyway, sorry wait, for interrupting, continue. Yeah, wait, Jim is uh, John Krasinski's character, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there is the, fucking so many people want him to be uh, the new Mr. Fantastic in like, like, when they eventually introduce the Fantastic Four in the MCU, they want him to be Mr. Fantastic, like Reed Richards. Yeah. What do you think? Like, I mean, they're probably going to do that because of, you know, how many fucking fans want it. But what do you think of that? Um, well, he, he, uh, he starred in a, a movie. I, I forget if it's like Jack Ryan or Jack Reacher. Or it was, yeah, Jack Ryan. It's, uh, it was a Amazon Prime exclusive series. So the thing is, it's like it's proven that he can do serious work. So I think that he, if he can do that and actually do pull up, pull it off, that would be amazing. Because well, the like Fantastic the, Four movies are notoriously bad, so having a good one will be amazing. Well, yeah. Well, the thing with Marvel movies as well, it's like they're, you know, they're not entirely serious. Like they definitely have like some comedy in it. Which obviously the office is basically one big comedy, so I think he can do both sides of it nicely, like serious with funny. Have a good way of making serious roles like good, like for instance, Brian Cranston's a comedian. Uh, Jim Carrey can act pretty well, and he's comedy based. But anyway, uh, yeah. Let's see. Another hot take. Ah, uh, fuck. Um. Shit. What's another hot take I have? Uh, oh, yeah. Pineapple and pizza is pretty damn good. No, it's fucking not. Shut your fucking whore mouth. Ironic. <laughs> it's way too sweet for a pizza. I don't want a sweet pizza. Well, okay. What about pineapple with, like, ham, like a Hawaiian pizza? If you do that, then it's, you know, it's acceptable. It's not a war crime anymore. Well, because the way some people portray it is like pineapple on pizza at all is a crime, but like. If it's by itself, then it is. If you add ham, I'll allow it. Like if, like, okay, pi like just, like if pineapple is the only topping, it's like, that's a little weird, but like the way some people make it sound is like pineapple under no circumstances can be on pizza. But you know, obviously, if it's with other toppings like pineapple, on, like pineapple with bacon or pineapple with ham, um, that's pretty tasty. Multi, uh, a multi topping one where it's going to be like ham, sausage, and bacon. Because mm -hmm. unless there's a different sauce for the pizza, it's just too weird. It, and like weird in the way which, like I was saying earlier, is pizza to me is a very savory thing so having a sweet on the savory to the point that the sweet is kind of like overtaking it is something i'm not a big fan of unless they have a sauce that is specifically sweet for a pizza i mean some, some pizza sauce that had it's like they're just like by themselves like the sauce is a little more sweet like uh uh let me try to come up with an example you can keep going Oh, that was it. Oh. I know, exciting um, stuff. <laughs> I guess I said this in the Halloween episode, but I'm going to say it again because it needs to be said. Candy corn is, uh, is a sin against humanity. Fuck you. No. I like candy corn. I used to eat candy corn all the time to the point I would get sick and, like, sick of the sight of it. Dude, candy I corn would... is, like, candy corn, like... Holy shit, like, yeah, is it a basic candy? Probably. Is it classic? Yeah. Yes. Just like M&M's. Mm -hmm. At least oh, M&M's taste good. The good thing about corn is a lot of people dislike it, so it's, like, more for you. Like, well, oh, okay, so I can have more of this than because no one likes it. Well, the thing with candy corns is anyone who doesn't like it deserves to have their voting rights taken away from them. Anyone uh, who likes it should just be eviscerated. Ironic. <laughs> I like that thought. 
Um, so candy corn, I like candy corn. It's I've had it in a super long time, so I don't know if my opinion of it has changed over time. But I remember really liking it. Wait, well, and, wait, you haven't had it in a while? I haven't had it in a really, really long time. Hmm. Maybe you should uh, <clears throat> have it again, see if your opinion still holds up. Yeah, and Heroicus, you should be skinned alive. Not because of your opinion, but just, just because. Um, okay, I can work with that. Hot. Candy corn flavored things like a candy corn flavored milkshake or something. Oh, 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 oh. What would that even taste like? What the hell? Like, oh, I don't even oh, know. Just, what... The thought of that genuinely just made me sick to my stomach. Oh. Wait, so I like, okay, <clears throat> I know this sounds bad for me to ask. I like candy corn candy, but I never really thought about it until just now. What do they taste like? <laughs> So it's like I'm trying to think like what would a candy corn milkshake even taste like? Oh, so you so you've had this your whole life but you don't know what it tastes like, fake fan. Biased yeah. opinion. No, no. No, you don't like yes. them therefore. No, you don't like pineapple and pizza. You don't like Nickelback. You like Frozen, a fucking kids movie. Frozen. You do not get to say I don't like candy corn. Frozen is a good franchise. No, it's also not. <laughs> also you like kid stuff. You like Batman Beyond. That's a kid show. You're watching that right fucking now. You were talking about it the other week with fucking yes. the Earth Mover, the fucking corpse in the ground manipulating shit in her fucking. Hey, calm uh... down there, sweetie pie. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Relax. Do not condescend me, you <laughs> fucking whore. This is supposed to be a civilized episode. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're just eating this right up, aren't you? Yes. Just like my nuts every Thursday. Yeah. And in. Inside Out is also a damn good No, it's movie. not. It's just okay. It's not just okay. It's amazing. I no, cry every not. time. You're, you're just saying that because you're fucking weak-minded. I'm not weak-minded, you absolute buffoon. You are a fucking bumbling buffoon. Ironic. No, it's not. Inside Out is fucking... It's, it's appealing to fucking college girls who fucking, their only friends are their drinking buddies and their fucking sorority, who have guys come over every weekend with fucking kegs of beer, and they listen to fucking whatever the fuck is popular on the radio. That's who it appeals to. So what you're saying is you're a college sorority girl. I wish. <laughs> <sighs> so this is a little off topic, but has anyone ever pretended to like a show to get someone's favor. I know of people who pretended to like music to get pussy. Because, the, yeah, the thing is, is like, I, I pretended to like Friends for a girl at some point. And, it's like, Friends is, a, this is segueing into a hot take. Friends is another one of those overrated comedy shows. I'll say that just to spite my sister. Yes, it is. It's fair. I mean, I like it, but yeah, it's. I don't think it's like as amazing as everyone thinks it is. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad show. I probably will watch it in like ten years when I have nothing else to watch. <laughs> ten years. Yeah. When like it's. Yeah, I'm not going to finish but, that sentence. But what? But what if we actually? Uh, what if we actually got an apartment together and I just. I just watch it every day, and you have no choice but to watch it. Or I, just I, leave the apartment and all, all together. Uh, I I probably would watch it, to be honest, because what am I going to do? Go in my room and masturbate? Well, that's yeah. the thing. The apartment I was looking at, there there is only one room. Like, main <laughs> room, rather. Wait, so you're implying... Wait, one bedroom. There's so... nowhere for you to go but the bathroom. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, the, the thing the thing is, like, I, I was looking recently 
And I was trying to see like, hey, there's like apartments near me, 800 bucks a month. There's internet, there's this and that, there's laundry room. And it's like the layout is basically you walk in, there is, I think the closets are to your right or to your left. The kitchen and the bedroom slash living area are all like one big space. Like obviously the floor separates it, but it's one space. And then there's a bathroom. And I think that's pretty much all there is. It looks decently sized. Like, easily, you could live two or three people in it, but it's like, yeah, you you don't really have separate bedrooms is the only thing. So that's the only thing that's like, uh, how the fuck is that going to work? Sounds like fun. Which one of us sleeps on the couch or in the bathtub? Oh yeah. Anyways. Anyways, yeah. Any any other hot takes? Metallica uh, is overrated. What? Metallica is overrated. Yeah, a little bit. I well, agree. I act I actually expected you to fucking slam my ass over that one. They're like, I like them. I just don't like every single song that they made. Like, their stuff in the '90s wasn't. I mean, the Black album. Well, okay, here's what this this is a hot take in and of itself. And just what is it? And Justice for All album from 1988 from them. I don't think like I don't I don't dislike it. I just think it's a little overrated. Which <clears throat> if anybody if any hardcore Metallica fans are listening to this and heard me say that, they would want my fucking head on a platter. And then uh, yeah, and then it's like anything. <clears throat> excuse me. Like there's stuff from the 90s. Um, like the Black Album was pretty good. Like that had Enter Sandman. Nothing else matters. Like that stuff was pretty good. That apparently divided the fan base. And then Load and Reload, which by the way, one of those fucking album covers had, I'm not kidding, cow semen and blood on the album cover. Like Lars Ulrich was really into fucking abstract, gory art. And that's like, I'm not kidding. You can look this up. And that stuff was kind of dog shit. The music and then Saint Anger. This is another hot take. Saint Anger, I actually kind of liked, even though that's I think you almost universally regarded as Metallica's worst album, mostly because the drums sound like someone's banging on a fucking trash can. I mean, that's pretty much what all their music sounds like. No, it me. doesn't, you fucking to whore. Me. To me, dipshit. Can't fucking tell me what my opinion is. Yes, I can. We're married. No. Oh, okay, gatekeeper. <laughs> Ironic, you are the OG gate, gate gate keeping keeper. my thoughts now. What? Well, there's nothing That's, left. Welcome to my world. You have done nothing <laughs> but gatekeep me for fucking eighty years now. Eighty years, damn. That's impressive for a twenty-seven-year-old. I'm not twenty-seven. I am. You are what? Yes. Damn, you're old. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll all get there one day. Oh, no, I'm dying at 25. I, I planned no, it. No, no, you're not. You're contracted to this podcast <laughs> to, for the rest of eternity. Fuck. You're going to go to hell, and then like Satan's going to tell you, oh, yeah, you, you still need to record episodes with these assholes. <laughs> I can't wait for the episode where you're suit in hell with each other. Yeah. But yeah, so... Uh, let's see, what else do I got here? But yeah, Metallica, like, they got some great stuff. <laughs> then they got some not-so-great stuff. But it's just, what those are is kind of <laughs> up to people's t- uh, interpretations. Like, for instance, I really like their fucking uh, newest album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, which some people think is just they're like oh they're just recycling their old ideas the way i see it they're going back to their roots which some people also really wanted them to do so there you go hmm venom let's hear another one um marshmallows are not that great fuck you (laughs) okay so here's the thing with marshmallows like, they're good with some things. But, like, for instance, marshmallows and chocolate, whenever I have it, I don't know why. I just straight up gag. 
Mm. Marshmallows and what now? Marshmallows chocolate. and chocolate. Oh. I mean, the only time I really have them with chocolate is like if I'm making, if I'm making s'mores. My dad and used to get... Oh, sorry, continue. It's it's not that often, but when I when I do make them, I, I, I fucking... I'll make one after the other, and I'm... I have an unconventional way of um, roasting the marshmallow. It's like everyone else, like, sits there and they take, like, fucking 20 minutes spinning it. Like, I just fucking stick it right over the coals, let it catch on fire, spin it a few times, blow it out. It's it's done. I just want to fucking eat the damn thing already. I'm not yes. toasting it. I'm not toasting it for 20 minutes, just holding it, like, 30 feet above the fire. How, how does no, it take just, 30 minutes? Dude, you're, the people you know I, are doing it. I'm exaggerating, it just, yeah. you dumbass. It's just people oh. will sit there twirling the damn thing way over I mean, the fire for like five minutes. I'm like, I'm not waiting that. I'm just fucking get it on fire and blow it out. That's all I need mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, I, I guess part of it's like the reward factor of like, you know, this thing's been toasting for this long, so let me enjoy, you know, the patience and care that I put into this thing. And the time that it takes him to do that, I've already had five. Yeah, and you're gonna it's gonna go straight to your thighs. Damn right. <laughs> Damn, it didn't pick up my the mic didn't pick up me slapping my thigh. <laughs> Unfortunate. I'll, I'll I'll just I'll clap my ass cheeks in the mic. Oh. Just kidding, I don't think okay. I can do that. I think related to marshmallows. Poops are not good. I'll, I'll kind of agree with you there. They're not that good. What's not good? Peeps. Peeps? Um, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll, like, if, if we even get a box of them, I'll probably have, like, one or two, and, like, I'll be like, hmm, so that's what they taste like. I have another one, and, yep, I'm good. I don't need any more for the year. Right. And it's, it's not special anymore because it's like peeps used to be something that would come out like during Easter and then they then they have Minecraft creeper peeps and then they have Christmas peeps and Thanksgiving peeps and this peep and that peep. It's like they're fucking out all the fucking time. Yeah. So, yeah, they're not special anymore because of that. Yeah. It's like people who fucking celebrate Christmas all fucking year. You're ruining it. Just keep it to its fucking designated month. Oh, yeah, that's, the people that's... that celebrate it all year? What? <laughs> yes. Celebrate Easter all year? Wow. No, Christmas, you dipshit. Oh, oh yeah, that's wait, another wait, thing. Wait, like, I mean, there's, like... probably, there's probably somebody that celebrates Easter all year. I can't imagine why. They just fucking... They, they, they go out every day and they hide eggs for themselves to collect. <laughs> they, have a, they eat a whole chocolate bunny every fucking day. Probably fucking diabetic, too. Yeah, like, after a year, they're probably, like, at least borderline... Di if they start out and they're reasonably healthy, yeah, by the end of that year, they're probably borderline diabetic. Nice. But yeah, this one's... And, uh, okay, go, go ahead. ahead. I was no, gonna go say... Ahead. I was gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, um... I know this is a hot take of yours, and I kind of ended up agreeing with you, um... Uh... Well, never really thought about it until you were, like, making it such a point to say this. But, you know, again, with the topic of Christmas, Christmas lights or, like, Christmas decorations should not even be thought of going up before Thanksgiving. Good. That's, that's not a hot take. That's, like, <laughs> law. To, to some people it is. Like, some people will have them up before or, like... I guess, like, also a little bit of a tangent relating to that. Like, it seems like recently you go into any store, you see, like, if you were to have gone into a store, like a CVS or whatever, or, like, any drug store or grocery store, you would see, like, Valentine's Day stuff, like, right after Christmas. And even I before can't... that, like, like, you would see, like, Halloween stuff in, what, September, and then Thanksgiving stuff in October, and so on. It's like... What the fuck? Venom, do you have any hot takes? Um, shorts suck. I hate shorts. Shorts? <laughs> uh, I can see and, why. Because the thing is, is, like, since I've been a kid, I've just hated shorts. Like, whenever 
whatever I needed to swim, I would wear jeans into the goddamn pool. I, I refused to wear shorts. I still don't even know why. I just hate them. I have to say, um, I mean, for me, in the summer, they're like, they're quite a comfort, actually. Yeah. Like, you know, when it gets too hot. Plus, because I have to wear, you know, dress pants every day to work. So, when I can put shorts on when I get home, it's fucking nice. But it's like, I want shorts that, you know, are like coming down to my knees, at least. Not something that's fucking... I had shorts as a kid that were, like, maybe not when I first got them, but, like, as I would grow, they would they, they would almost feel like short shorts. And it's like, I don't yeah. want them that fucking short. I want them down to my fucking knees. That way it's comfortable. Yeah, like, the, like, this, I don't know if this would be a hot take, but, like, the shorts I like to wear in the summer, at least, like, out in public, are, I like cargo shorts, which... From what I hear, aren't, uh, how should I put this? Like, they're not in style, so to speak, or at least, like, long cargo shorts. That's what I like, like, because I like the kind that go, like, a little, just a little bit below my knees. Because, you know, I'm a bigger guy, and I feel like if it's above that, it just looks fucking weird on me. But they're so hard to find because they're not in style. So, yeah. do you do you like them because they have a lot of pockets? <laughs> Even if I don't use the pockets, yeah, it's just like if they... But, like, yeah, if they don't have pockets, then it just looks even weirder, so... You did you did understand the reference, though, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Of course, of course. <laughs> Black Widow, Yelena, y- Yelena, Yelena, that's, that's her name, Yelena. Yeah. I like Yelena. She's cool. Hi. Huh? Oh my god, did you even fake fan? Wait, 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 was that was that from the Hawkeye? Hawkeye, Hawkeye, yeah. That's I mean that's <laughs> it's one so word generic. is not, not not yeah, it's not as memorable. Like she caught the like fucking Kate Bishop just threw a sriracha bottle at her thinking that was gonna stop her. <laughs> Also, she got it too. <laughs> She's a fucking Mary Sue versus a Black Widow. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I wanted to trigger you, but it failed. Yeah, you did fail. Uh this one, I think, I think all of you will agree on it, but it may uh, may trigger some viewers. Anime is incredibly fucking overrated. I do it, like some anime, but most of it is fucking incredibly overrated, and some of it is also fucking crap. Jeez. And also, uh, also kind of, uh, I don't know how to put this in a way that you have to edit it out. So, Venom, you can speak. Um, so the thing is, is I agree to an extent but the thing is that the anime genre is so varied that you could literally say that about like anything animated or anything live action it's just like it depends on who's making it and like how it's made for instance like shows like full metal alchemist brotherhood and steins and all like, of those in between are some of the best shows i've actually seen so it depends on really who's making it and what it's about. Yeah. To be fair, like, yeah, stuff like, something like that, very enjoyable. Um, even like uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I enjoy that because it's fucking chaotic weirdness. <laughs> but something, you know, if it's a show about like 14-year-old girls with massive titties and they're like... Like, there's specifically, I forget what the name is. There's this one that just, the concept about it just pisses me off. It's literally just competitions where girls just slam their tits and asses together to knock each other off a platform. And I'm like, this is is the entire show. Really? Like, that's the stuff that, uh, like, fucking 30-year-olds who have no jobs and no social skills and fucking, they're 350 pounds 
That's the kind of stuff they watch. And they have neck beards and acne. You have a neck beard. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You would know, fucking asshole. I do know. Oh, yeah. You guys if, it's, if it's something about that, like, I mean, sometimes, dare I say it, sometimes there's, like, uh, sexualization in anime and it comes off funny, like, it works, but other times it's just, yeah, no. Especially if it's underage sexualization. Fuck off with that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that's not all anime, of course, but, yeah, there's a lot of them that do that, and that's what I mean. Like, that shit can go, just, no, it needs to stop. If if it's just genuinely a good show, good story and everything, sure, that's nice. Now, what about, like, American anime, like Avatar The Last Airbender, for instance? Not, well, that's a good anime. It's a very good anime. It is. I also, uh, Shrek's a good anime as well. <laughs> okay. The thing is, uh, there's there's purists that would say that if it's not made in Japan, then it's yeah. not anime. But those people, it, I'm it, like, it, stop being so pretentious. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, anime is literally the Japanese word for animation. So, yeah, pretty much. So, anything animated is technically anime. But like, but like, you know. Anime is like, I mean, if it's the Japanese word, it's it's literally meaning like Japanese animation. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, you would just say animation or cartoon or whatever. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Also, here's 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 a related hot take. Anime is a cartoon. I mean, it is by definition, like we just discussed. Yes, I know, but I just wanted to say that. Just to piss <laughs> off the weebs a little more. Good. We don't deserve to be respected. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, any weeb uh, listeners we have, just know that we do not respect <laughs> Yeah, get the, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here with fucking 14-year-old titty ladies. I like how we have to isolate our audience even further, like, <laughs> yeah. episode. Hey, we went from four viewers to three. <laughs> okay, everyone. So it seems that we are kind of just uh, opinioned out right now. So I think this is the best time to call it quits. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And uh, Hiroka Sixfoot, do you have any final thoughts, closing arguments? Uh, I have a final hot take. Tapirs are an incredible animal. I agree. That's a very hot take. Very bold of you. Not going to disagree with that. My final hot take is, uh, um, oh, fuck. What did I just do to my computer? Oh, my final hot take is, uh, I don't know. I don't have a final hot take. Hmm. All right, so that ends that. I hope you all have a great day, and um, if you like anything that we don't like, we hate you. All right. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. See ya.